We are going to look at the difference between short constructed responses and extended constructed responses so that you can determine the difference between the two on the STAR test. First, let's look at an example of a short constructed response. This example set, first of all, has two different parts. It says read the question carefully and then it gives you the actual question. So let's kind of look more deeply at this so that you can see what the specifics are so that you can feel confident when you get to this type of question on the test. So first, like I said, there are only two pieces to this question. So it's very small, um, there's not a lot to it. So the first piece says, read the question carefully. So it says, read the question, and then it says, enter your answer in the box provided. So it just says, read the question and answer the question. So that's the first thing it says, so read and answer. Then it says, what is one way the setting in the antique shop affects Jesse's values? And then it says, support your answer with evidence from the story. So when I look at this question, I see that it just says to answer the question and support my answer with evidence from the text. So when I look at this, there's only two requirements that this prompt is asking me to do. It's having me read the question and answer it. So answer my question and then provide text evidence. So with, <clears throat> sorry, with this question, it's really only asking me to write one CER paragraph. So I have to have my claim and I have to have my text evidence. And so this one is really um, just a short paragraph and that's it. And that's why it's called a short constructive response. Now let's look quickly at the extended constructed response. If you look at this one, you can see the difference. If I go back, look at the difference between what the prompts actually look like. You can see how extended this prompt is. But if we just go look at this and kind of bullet point the requirements, it says read, explain, write, remember to, manage your time, write your response below. If you look at just the bullet points, this one already has way more requirements than the short constructed response has. So let's just kind of look at what are the requirements here. Well, it says read the excerpt from say what horse, and then it says write a response to the following. So it says read and then write. Then it says explain what the new research reveals. So in this one, I'm going to explain something. Then it goes further than that. It says write a well organized informational composition. Well, what does composition mean? That means essay. So this prompt is actually telling me that I need to write an essay where the previous one was just telling me to give an answer. This one is telling me write an essay. It also goes on and says that I need to provide evidence to support my answer, but it doesn't stop there. It gives me all of these reminders. It says, remember to do this, manage your time carefully. So in my reminders, it tells me what I have to have in my essay. So if I kind of put it all together, and I say, okay, what are, all, are the requirements here? Well, I have to write a well-organized essay. In my reminders, it tells me what goes into the essay. It says I have to have a thesis, it has to be organized, and in that organization, I have to have um, a text, text evidence, I have to develop my text, my answer by explaining my text evidence, how does my text evidence support my claim, which then supports my thesis, I have to make sure that I have correct grammar. So what does that mean? So you can see in the highlighted piece there, so what am I doing here? I have to have an introduction, I have to have two CER paragraphs, and I have to have a conclusion. So just by looking at this, I can see that this one is way more involved, it's more extended. So this is an extended constructed response because I'm writing a full essay and the prompt shows me that I'm writing a full essay because it's more extensive in the requirements. But on top of that, if we need something even more clear than that, it lets us know just by the character count alone. So if you go look at the box, it tells you for an extended constructed response that you have 2,300 characters. So I have 2,300 characters um, to write or type my extended constructed response. And for my short constructed response, I only have 475. So if all else fails, go look at your character count. 
and if you only see 475 characters, you know that's going to be your short constructed response because you need way more than that to write your, your full ECR. So again, the ECR has a larger character count because you have to write a full essay and the SCR has a small character count because you're only writing one paragraph. So I hope that this was a little bit more helpful and clear to show you and remind you the differences between the SCR and the ECR.